We'll start this video with one of these. Probably never seen that beer before. Yeah, that's some good shit. That's not what the video's about. It's about the front end on the Chevy. Now, as you can see, that upper ball joint, the boot doesn't look too good. Same as that inner suede bar, or uh, tie rod end, sorry. So I'm gonna kinda check out what else is wrong with it. Cause it doesn't look too good, the ball joint on the other side either. Now this thing is kind of a rusty piece, if you can't tell. I use it more for, I'm going to just use it for beating around in the winter. The interior is not too bad, at least. It's pretty comfy. 94 Chevy Silverado. I've got pretty much the exact same truck, but I... Uh, 94 GM So usually when I like to check friends, I'll just throw a big bar underneath there That's like what a lot of dudes that I know do And other mechanics and just kind of see if there's any play in there now it is better if somebody else can kind of look under there and see But I don't have anybody else here, so This is as good as it's gonna get I suppose so I just throw a big bar under here. You just see what fucking kind of play you got in the thing. I can hardly really feel too much. I'm not that clank as my steering shaft making that noise. I know these things got something I'm gonna be like to call a rag joint the way to go. I can't get it right on there. Well, at least then you can see if there's any tire wobble. I'll just have to watch this myself as well and see if there's anything I can see on it. Yeah, not the greatest video there. No, I kind of got that same noise, so it's got to be something on that steering shaft, I would think. A nice old 350. I actually don't really hear anything in there. I wonder if that even could be a problem in my steering box. Yeah, you know, things are usually pretty easy to work on, at least. I had a 
98 Chevy. So those ones, the engines are a little different because they're those Vortex, but had to change the brake line on this thing when I bought it. The, or I didn't buy it, I actually traded that Tahoe for it. The guy pinched the brake line going to the back off. He's, well, yeah, I've just been driving on the front row. No, I don't, you know, I'll drive shitty vehicles, but I kind of like to stop. But yeah, I might end up changing those ball joints out here. Kind of depends, I guess. If I do end up keeping it for the winter, it most likely will happen. So if I do end up doing that, I'll probably end up doing a video on the ball joints. Maybe that uh, inner tie rod or just do the whole both tie rods. I do have to do the upper ball joint on this uh, passenger side as well. I could tell when I was just looking underneath it. The boots are ripped off. They still seem okay, but I think I'd just rather change it anyways. Well, yeah, thanks. Have a good one.